Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into a groundbreaking study from Stanford Medicine that reveals an astonishing connection between fiber consumption and cancer prevention. You've probably heard before that eating fiber is good for digestion, but did you know that it might actually have genetic effects that help prevent cancer? That's right. Researchers have found a direct link between fiber-rich foods and crucial genetic functions that could protect your body from cancerous cell growth. This discovery isn't just another nutrition fact. It's a game changer in how we understand the role of diet in disease prevention. So grab a healthy snack and let's break down this incredible research. A team of scientists from Stanford Medicine, led by genetics professor Michael Snyder, discovered something truly fascinating. Fiber consumption directly impacts our genes in ways that help fight cancer. In their study, published in the prestigious journal Nature Metabolism, researchers found that two byproducts of fiber digestion, propionate and beauty rate, can modify gene expression in ways that suppress cancer development. Here's how it works. Fiber is broken down by gut bacteria, producing short-chain fatty acids like propionate and beauty rate. These acids then travel throughout the body, influencing gene functions that control cell growth, differentiation, and apoptosis, which is the body's natural process of killing damaged or potentially harmful cells. The study even found that these compounds can alter genetic expression in healthy human cells, colon cancer cells, and mouse intestines. Simply put, Eating fiber doesn't just help with digestion. It can actually reprogram your genes to fight cancer. Many people today, especially in Western countries, consume far too little fiber. Even the famous Mediterranean diet, known for its health benefits, has seen a decline in fiber intake over time. This is a big problem because a low fiber diet weakens the gut microbiome reducing the production of these cancer-fighting compounds. This deficit increases the risk of developing tumors and other diseases. Most people don't realize how essential fiber is beyond digestion. It actually plays a key role in disease prevention. As Professor Michael Snyder puts it, people's diets are very low in fiber. This means their microbiome is not adequately nourished so it cannot produce as many short-chain fatty acids as it should. This deficit does no favors to people's health and increases the risk of developing tumors over time. So, if you're not eating enough fiber, you're missing out on a natural cancer-fighting mechanism that your body desperately needs. Now that we know how important fiber is, the big question is, what should we be eating? Here are some of the best fiber-rich foods that help fuel your microbiome and support cancer prevention. First on our list is legumes. Legumes, such as beans, lentils, and peas, are nutritional powerhouses that play a significant role in cancer prevention, primarily due to their high dietary fiber content. For example, cooked lentils provide approximately 7.9 grams of fiber per 100 grams, while cooked black beans offer about 8.7 grams per the same serving size. Dietary fiber is essential for maintaining a healthy digestive system. It promotes regular bowel movements and fosters a beneficial gut microbiome by serving as a prebiotic. A healthy gut microbiome is crucial for regulating immune and inflammatory responses, which can influence cancer development. A study by M.D. Anderson Cancer Center highlighted that consuming beans improved gut health and modulated immune processes in colorectal cancer survivors, suggesting a protective effect against cancer recurrence. Moreover, the fiber in legumes aids in weight management by enhancing satiety, which can lead to reduced calorie intake. Maintaining a healthy weight is a key factor in lowering the risk of various cancers, including colorectal and breast cancer. Additionally, 
Legumes are rich in antioxidants and phytochemicals, such as flavonoids and lignans, which have been shown to possess anti-cancer properties. Incorporating a variety of legumes into your daily diet not only boosts fiber intake, but also provides essential nutrients like protein, iron, and folate. This simple dietary addition can be a powerful strategy in reducing cancer risk and promoting overall health. Next, avocados. A diet high in fiber is one of the most effective ways to reduce cancer risk. And one fruit that excels in this area is often overlooked. With approximately 10 grams of fiber per avocado, this creamy superfood supports digestive health and plays a crucial role in cancer prevention. Fiber aids in the removal of harmful toxins from the digestive tract, reducing exposure to carcinogens that may contribute to colorectal cancer. Beyond gut health, fiber influences overall inflammation levels in the body. Chronic inflammation is a known trigger for various cancers, and a fiber-rich diet has been shown to lower inflammatory markers, creating an environment that is less favorable for cancer growth. Additionally, fiber helps regulate blood sugar levels, preventing insulin spikes that have been linked to an increased risk of certain cancers, including breast and pancreatic cancer. But it's not just about fiber. This fruit also contains bioactive compounds, including carotenoids, vitamin E, and glutathione, which work together to neutralize free radicals and protect cells from DNA damage. Free radicals are unstable molecules that can lead to mutations and tumor formation, making antioxidants essential for cancer prevention. Adding this nutrient-dense fruit to meals is simple. It can be blended into smoothies, spread on whole grain toast, or diced into salads. When consumed regularly as part of a balanced diet, it provides essential fiber and powerful antioxidants that may significantly lower cancer risk. Small dietary changes can have a profound impact on long-term health. Next, cruciferous vegetables. Eating a variety of vegetables is one of the simplest ways to protect your body against cancer, but some stand out more than others. Among them, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and kale contain unique compounds that actively fight cancer on a cellular level. Their high fiber content plays a crucial role in reducing cancer risk, particularly for colorectal cancer. Just one cup of cooked Brussels sprouts packs around four grams of fiber, while a cup of raw broccoli offers about 2.4 grams. This fiber helps move toxins out of the body, supports gut health, and reduces inflammation, key factors in lowering cancer risk. Beyond fiber, these vegetables contain glucosinolates, natural compounds that break down into cancer-fighting agents like sulforaphane and indoles. Sulforaphane, in particular, has been shown to inhibit tumor growth and protect cells from DNA damage. A study published in Cancer Prevention Research found that sulforaphane can significantly reduce breast cancer cell proliferation. Additionally, these compounds help detoxify harmful substances, preventing them from triggering mutations in cells. What makes them even more powerful is their ability to reduce estrogen levels, which can lower the risk of hormone-sensitive cancers, such as breast and prostate cancer. Eating just a few servings per week can have long-term protective benefits. The best way to maximize their cancer-fighting properties? Eat them raw or lightly steamed to preserve their beneficial compounds. Small changes in your diet, like adding a side of roasted Brussels sprouts or a kale salad, can make a huge difference in long-term health. Next, nuts. A simple handful of almonds, walnuts, or pistachios could be doing more for your body than just satisfying hunger. Packed with fiber, these crunchy powerhouses support digestion and help remove toxins that could contribute to cancer development. Dietary fiber plays a crucial role in binding harmful substances in the digestive tract and flushing them out before they can cause cellular damage. Each type of nut brings something unique to the table. Almonds, for instance, 
contain around 3.5 grams of fiber per ounce, while walnuts offer about 2 grams in the same serving. Pistachios go even higher, delivering 2.9 grams per ounce. The fiber content not only aids gut health, but also regulates blood sugar levels, reducing inflammation, a key driver of cancer. A healthier gut microbiome is another benefit. Good bacteria in the intestines thrive on fiber, producing short-chain fatty acids that have been linked to lower risks of colorectal cancer. Studies suggest diets rich in fiber from natural sources like nuts could significantly lower the chances of developing certain cancers, particularly in the digestive system. Making small dietary changes can have a big impact. Instead of reaching for processed snacks, swapping them with a handful of nuts can provide lasting benefits. With fiber, antioxidants, and essential nutrients, these tiny but mighty foods could be an easy and delicious way to fortify the body against cancer. So, what exactly happens on a molecular level when we eat fiber? According to the Stanford research, fiber's byproducts, propionate and beauty rate, directly alter genetic expression in ways that help stop cancer from forming. Here's what they do. Regulate cell proliferation, preventing cells from multiplying uncontrollably. Enhance differentiation, ensuring cells develop properly instead of becoming cancerous. Promote apoptosis, helping damaged or dangerous cells self-destruct before they become tumors. This genetic reprogramming is one of the most exciting findings in cancer research today. Researchers also used chromatin immunoprecipitation, followed by sequencing to map four specific genetic markers, H3K18PR, H3K18BU, H4K12PR, and H4K12BU. These markers indicate that fibers byproducts are directly influencing the genes responsible for cell growth and cancer suppression. Next, how much fiber should you eat daily? The average person isn't eating nearly enough fiber. The recommended daily intake is men need 38 grams per day. Women need 25 grams per day. But most people only eat 15 grams or less. That's less than half of what's needed. By adding more fiber-rich foods to your diet, you can fuel your microbiome, strengthen your immune system, and actively lower your cancer risk. This groundbreaking research from Stanford opens the door for new treatments and dietary recommendations. Scientists now understand that fiber's benefits go beyond digestion. It has a direct impact on our genes. So, what can you do? Eat more fiber-rich foods like legumes, avocados, cruciferous vegetables, nuts, and fruits. Support your gut microbiome by consuming prebiotic and probiotic foods. Reduce processed foods that lack fiber and disrupt gut health. As research continues, scientists hope to develop new cancer prevention strategies that integrate diet and genetics. Until then, the best thing we can do is take control of our own health. One fiber-rich meal at a time. And that's it for today's video. We hope you found this information valuable and eye-opening. Fiber isn't just about digestion. It's a powerful weapon against cancer. So start adding more fiber-rich foods to your diet and give your body the support it needs. If this video was helpful, let us know by typing yes in the comment box below. Your support keeps us motivated to bring you more science-backed health insights. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss out on life-changing health discoveries. Let's spread awareness and help more people take control of their health, one meal at a time. Thanks for watching, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.